Catholic University. We know that the environment really impacts businesses. Jesko von Windheim is the director of Duke's new Environmental Innovation and Entrepreneurship Center. In this Office Hours interview, he talks about how to teach entrepreneurship and how businesses can grow out of research. Academia is critically important to the types of startups I do. I did uh, startups out of MCNC, which was a not-for-profit technology organization, RTI, a not-for-profit organization um, here at Duke, you know, an academic organization. It's all based on very deep science. The research is here, the product is here, and you have to slowly move through that spectrum. And um, you can't do it by, at some point, taking a technology and throwing it over the fence. So the academic platform, to me, is actually a very natural place to start these companies. I think it's important for an entrepreneur to have a very uh, large view of the world. So one of the core classes that we start off with is megatrends. We bring in speakers who are leading thinkers in their areas, and then we want a discussion over how are their area is going to affect the world over the next 25 years. The other thing that we teach to the students is, is just basic economics. In the class, we'll go all the way through to doing uh, what I call a virtual startup, so the students don't actually have to do the legal stuff of going out and starting a company, but they are at that point prepared to actually do a real startup if they want to. And in fact, in my course last year um, I, at Fuqua, uh, a couple of students came out of that, did start companies, raised money, and moved forward. I worked for Victoria Haynes, who, who was the president of RTI, and she, she liked to say we're not for profit, but we're also not for loss. And at the end of the day, when, when I look at building a company, the very first thing I think about is sustainability. I want to get that company up and running and work and, and making enough money that we don't go bankrupt. Because once you're at that point, then you can decide, you know, do I want to become for profit? Do I want to do other things? But the good news is I'm alive and, and growing. Believe it or not, I do this pretty much 20 years. This is yeah. my passion. So I'm, um, I'm always working on looking at new technologies, um, um, you know, working with students, working with faculty. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I will travel to go look at technologies. Uh, so this is, that's a big part of my life. My very first career was as a professional horseback rider. So I work with my girls. I've got four kids. You know, free time is with the kids. When it comes to why do I do all of this is I want to start up companies. We want to continue to work with faculty, um, with um, postgraduate, graduate and postgraduate students uh, to actually form um, companies uh, that come off of intellectual property that's been developed at Duke. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.